Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do an update on my twin baby girls. They are almost four months and I was planning on doing these every month and somehow I forgot to do it for their third month. I, it's weird. The days go by kind of slow, but then when I look back, time goes by really fast right now. So today's going to be their three slash four month update. I will update you on everything I can possibly think of, what they're wearing as far as sizing goes, diapers, what they're doing for development things, how they have been acting, how I have been, and a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. And like always for these videos, I will do clips of them at the end so you can see them, see them. They're currently taking a nap and um, being watched by grandma right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So we went in for their two month appointment, even though they're almost four months. They will be 16 weeks this Thursday. Uh, today I'm filming this on the 4th. And they were 23 inches in length. They were both almost 12 pounds. Violet is 11 pounds, 12 ounces, and June is 11 pounds, nine ounces. So they're almost to 12 pounds. They are only in the ninth percentile, which is very small, but they were born a month early. So I kind of have to keep that in mind. Their heads, on the other hand, are in, I don't know what percentile it was, but it was pretty high. They have pretty large heads and I have a big head, Andrew has a big head. I can't even fit into girls size hats. I have to get men's hats because my head is so large. They have been doing so many more things now. It's so cool. Every day they're doing something new. They love looking at their hands now. They just hold them right in front of their face and kind of turn their hands around. They bring stuff to their mouth now. They are constantly chewing on their hands and their fingers. They haven't yet found like a certain finger to suck on. I'm really wanting them to suck on their thumbs. I sucked on my thumb when I was a baby. We have this little toy that we dangle on their swing and they now reach for it and bring it to, to their mouth. So that's really cute to see. Uh, the swings, I get so many questions on the swings. I will link them down below for you guys. We got them from Bye Bye Baby, they're by Fisher Price. They're called like the, the motion something. And what else are they doing? They're turning their head a lot, so they'll track you. If you're like walking across, they'll watch you. And I don't know why it's so cute to see that. Like if they're just sitting up and you move, it's so, or you're talking over there, they'll just turn their head and look at you. It's so cute. When they're on their tummies, they can totally press up now and like kind of hold their head. And if they're laying on their stomach, they can flip their head side to side. So what we do for naps, because I get a lot of questions on Instagram, I post things on my Insta stories. I'm kind of done with Snapchat just because I was doing the same things on Snapchat that I was on Instagram. So I feel like why why have one extra social media that I, I just don't need that. So I'm kind of just doing Instagram now. But uh, we've been putting them on their tummies for naps because they sleep so much better. It is insane. So we tried it one day and it just worked really well. They slept for like three hours. And so we were doing them on their bellies for one, like their afternoon nap during the day. Now though, I'm every single time I want to put them down for a nap, I put them on their tummies because they just sleep way better. So what I do is I'll usually feed them and when they're tired, I just gently lay them down on their stomachs, put one head to the side and then I take one of their pacifiers without the animal on it, just the Advent Soothie. And I put that in their mouth and that helps them fall asleep if they need it. I typically have to put the pacifier back in a couple times if they like cry, if they drop it out and they want it. Uh, but sometimes, usually once they're deep asleep, they'll spit it out. So that's kind of how I know they're really asleep. And what I like to do is just watch them. So if they are on their tummies taking a nap and um, I don't have either my mom or Andrew's mom there to kind of watch them. I will take one of their baby monitors in their bedroom and I will stick it out in the living room, put it on them, and then I'll take the little monitor with me and I'll just carry it around the house wherever I go. So if I'm in the office getting work done, I'll just have the monitor on so I can always be watching them just because, you know, it's safe to watch them when they're on their tummies, but they feel so much better when they're laying like that. And they also get a lot of gas out. Like whenever they're on their tummies, you just hear it coming the whole time. It's so funny. So I think it just feels really good for them. And I mean, if they sleep, then I'm all for it. So as far as their sleep right now, they just went through a really big growth spurt around 13 weeks. Oh my goodness, they were eating so frequently. And at night they were up like every hour to two hours, it was insane. 
my eyes have been so bloodshot lately it's crazy i feel like all of a sudden the lack of sleep is catching up with me and i started getting an eye twitch which i used to get in college when i was tired it's like all of a sudden my eyes started twitching the other day and i was like oh no <laughs> but lately they've been going to bed around 7 38 i feel like honestly when they go to bed a little bit before 8 they sleep better so 7 30 last night they went to bed around 7 45 I gave, I've been giving them baths more often now, so I'll bathe them one at a time. I'll have like Andrew be out with one and then I'll give one a bath, usually around six. So I kind of want to start a routine at night to get them used to just something, you know, that we do every night so they know it's time to go to bed. So I've been giving one a bath and then I'll put her in her pajamas and I'll switch them and give the other one a bath. They're not super into their bath. Sometimes they're okay with it. Uh, they just hate being put in and taken out of the bath. Once they're down, once they're asleep, uh, they usually wake up around 12 o'clock or 1, and then again around 4 or 3 or 4, and then they're wide awake at 6 o'clock. Like 6 o'clock on the dot, June is talking, just talking to herself, <laughs> and it's so funny. Now what we've been doing is Andrew will go get June, he'll change her and bring her into bed with us and we'll just like lay there with her and we turn the light, we like dim the, our ceiling light and she just stares at it and talks and laughs. And then once I have June, then Andrew will go get Violet, change her and bring her in. So we just kind of lay in bed with them for a little bit and that's really been fun. We actually want to get a bigger bed now. We have a queen size bed and now we want to get a king because it's getting pretty cramped. <laughs> and I haven't been changing their diapers overnight. It's been just really nice. I just put a diaper on that's a little bit bigger for them and I they're fine the whole night. And usually they don't poop in the middle of the night. They just pee. So it just saves me a lot of time having to, you know, not having to change their diaper in the middle of the night. During the day, they usually take about three naps right now. They take one around eight and they'll sleep for a couple hours. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two hours. Today it was like two and a half hours, it was awesome. And then they usually go back to bed around 12 o'clock or one. And then I try to give them an evening nap around like five or so just to get, cause that's when they get fussy. So I'll try to feed them and then lay them down for a little bit just to rest and it helps a lot so they're not extra fussy, you know, before they go to bed. I still am putting them to sleep and they're kind of awake. So they're drowsy and tired, but they're not fully asleep. And that just really helps them learn to put themselves to sleep and soothe themselves better. They are still in their docatots and they are wearing the Love to Dream swaddles, which have, it's a zipper and they have two arms that are up like this. And we are in the transition ones now. So I unzipped one arm, so they have one arm free. And at first, like I, I tried it a couple nights and I don't think they were ready for it, but now they are totally loving it because they can use their one hand to kind of move their pacifier or if they wanted to suck on their hand, they'll do that. And the nice thing is, because they used to be so dependent on their webinars, but now um, when I, after I feed them in the middle of the night and I lay them down, they'll just fall asleep and they don't need it. So that's been really nice because lately what's been happening is they when they spit it out they'll start crying or it'll like it's over their head or something so I have to go wake up and get it but now they can just fall asleep without it so that is great they have been smiling so much lately it is so cute they just light up their whole faces light up they haven't smiled or I mean laughed yet June kind of tried you'll do things to her and she'll go uh, uh, like she'll do this like deep chuckle and then it'll start to scare her and then it'll turn into a cry so she's like uh, 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 and she starts crying uh, but Violet hasn't yet but June has kind of started to do that so I'm wondering when they will laugh but right now it's just a lot of smiles, a lot of talking. They just are cooing and talking to themselves all the time. At first, Violet was doing it a lot more than June, and now June does it just as much, and it's just so cute. And I can lay them in their swings now, and they can kind of entertain themselves a little bit, which has never happened before. So I have this little thing dangling down on their little mobile, and they can kind of swat it, and look at things and just talk and it's nice to be able to like put them down for a sec and not have to constantly be entertaining them. They love looking at faces. We have a couple toys that have these black, you know, like eyes and mouth on them and they light up when they see them. We have this little whale or octopus and every time you hold it in front of their faces, 
they love it. It is crazy. They get this huge smile and start talking to it. So any little animal with a face, we just hold that up to them and they're crying and they instantly stop. It is, it's crazy. The other thing that makes them calm down all the time is the TV. If they are screaming and you bring them to the TV, they'll instantly stop. I have a couple different baby movies that I play every now and then. I have one called Praise Baby. I got that from my friend Summer. I love it because it has worship music on it. But the music's actually really good, so I don't mind it. It's kind of weird, the pictures that they show, but um, I like the music. And then the other one we have, Andrew's grandma got us, and they just love it so much. They also love music and love when you're singing to them, so I try to play music for them all the time. We're constantly singing to them, and they'll actually try to sing with you. I'll put a video in of Violet and Andrew was singing to her and it was so adorable. She was totally trying to match his notes. It was crazy. So we sing them a lot and that calms them down, makes them really happy. They love to be like snuggled now. So sometimes if they're fussy and you just pick them up and walk around with them, they love it. They kind of rest their head on your shoulder now and they can hold you a little more and it's just so cute. June today I was holding her and she just was licking my arm. <laughs> it was so funny. but. They're a little bit more cuddly now and squishy and I just want to eat their cheeks all day long and kiss their faces. They're so, so cute. I started wearing the uh, Solly Baby Wrap with them again and wrapping it a little different so that their legs hang out and it's really, really comfortable and I think they like it a lot more than being completely scrunched together. So we did that a couple times. We took them to a nursery and just walked around with them wrapped on us and they loved it. I don't take them many places. We leave the house maybe once a week. My goal is to leave the house with them once a week to do something like we went to Target the other day, just not for very long, but just to see how it was. Uh, we took them to the mall, just a few places. I haven't taken them anywhere by myself yet. I usually have Andrew or my mom with me. For clothes and diapers, they're still in their parasol diapers. So I, I have size one, but they need to get a size two. I have a few more diapers left, so I'm going to use those up and then I'm gonna do size two for my next month. And I just love those diapers so much. They are great quality. They, they're they better for you. They're better, like better ingredients. And I also use the wipes and I like the wipes a lot because they're extremely gentle and they're a little thicker. So I just feel like they're really soft on them. I will link the company down below, Parasol. It's a subscription service. So you get diapers sent to you and you get four bags. I get four bags of them and I wanna say four wipes. And then they also give you travel wipes as well. They're super cute too. They have different patterns you can choose from. I tried the Honest Company diapers because I think they're really cute, but I did not like them at all. These ones are actually made a lot better. So. Um, yes, I'll put those down below for you guys if you're interested in trying them out. As far as clothing goes, they're still in zero to three months for a lot of things, but I'm also putting them in three to six month clothes now. I'm still breastfeeding. I am pumping now at least one time a day. I try to pump between two and three times a day, usually once in the morning and once at night to get some extra milk because sometimes if they're nursing and they're not getting enough, I will give them a bottle of my pumped milk and then... Typically, I will give them two to four ounces of formula a day. I try to do it at night now, and it's been helping so much. It's insane. Uh, if you guys haven't watched my breastfeeding video, I will link that down below for you. But I go into depth about what was going on. I was My milk supply was, was not as good as it was. I'm just trying to really focus on getting enough calories during the day and putting that as my priority before cleaning, cleaning the house and doing those things because obviously I want to get all those things done, but my, you know, feeding the babies is definitely the priority. I was getting really caught up in losing weight and I think that really had an effect on my milk. So now I'm not weighing myself all the time. I'm just going to the gym about twice a week to lift weights. I was doing a lot of cardio before or nine weeks I started. So now I'm trying to do a little bit of cardio because obviously the cardio is going to help tighten your stomach, but I wanna do a lot more weights because I really need to build muscle. And that's what I really miss about my body before I was pregnant was I had a lot of muscle. So I'm trying to build that up again. I've been doing leg and arm um, like machines and I've been upping my weight before I was doing very lightweight and high reps. Now I'm doing a little bit heavier weights and then as far as like ab stuff goes, all I'm doing is just 
focusing on tightening my abs. So I'll lay down and flat my stomach and just contract my abs for a couple seconds. I'll hold it and then relax and then I'll repeat that. And the other thing is when you're laying on your stomach, you do like a little marching thing with your feet and contract your abs the whole time. I'm just trying to do small baby steps for my abs. I'm not doing anything intense like crunches like that. Andrew is a physical therapist, so he knows everything that I should be doing. So he kind of just tells me, do this today, and that's what I've been doing. So it's been really good, and it's been helping. I feel really good. My body is not, obviously, not to where it was before, but my stomach has definitely shrunk a lot. So I'll show you in a sec what it looks like, because I don't think I've shown you my stomach postpartum on YouTube yet. I've only showed it on Instagram, and I've just been feeling pretty good. I feel really tired. <laughs> Uh, I think the sleep has just all of a sudden caught up to me. The lack of sleep, I should say. So, yeah, that's kind of hard. It's it's hard in the middle of the night, but once I'm awake during the day, I'm fine. So I think that's everything I wanted to tell you guys about today. I will show you my stomach, and then I will insert some clips of the girls. And yes, here we go. So here is my stomach from the side, and I can now kind of suck in and tighten it. And then here's it from the front. So I do have this line still. And the skin is a little loose. But I feel like overall, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And I don't really even know if I have any stretch marks. I can't tell if any of these are going to turn into them. They might. I have a few stretch marks on my butt. And that's it. So that is the tummy. Nose. What's the word again? Feet. Yeah. Up where they walk. Up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of your world. Oh, that was good, huh? <sighs> <laughs> Are you smiling at the camera? <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh. <gasps> Good evening. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good evening. Hi, <laughs> sissy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Violet. Who is that? Say hi. Aww. Who is it? How was your night? Are you waking up? How's your back? Did you have a 
look at that. Playtime. They just had a nice bath. No tears were shed. They absolutely love. <laughs> they love this guy so much. So funny. They just smile at him. <gasps> oh. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Oh, do you love to talk? Yeah. It sounds like you had a great day. It does. I love you. I love you. Whoops. <laughs> Good catch, you. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, it's stuck it's on the there. table. <laughs> Puppy's gonna have to get another. Why that has her first rattle? Can you shake it? Good job. June, you want to hold yours? Here. Here we go.